Okay, so I've re-plumbed the intercooler setup. So at the moment, it's at the front, it's more or less the same as what it has been. I haven't really touched anything. Um, back in the cap, this is the suction side. So this should be pretty full. It's gone down a little bit. Nothing too crazy. So that's got a fair volume in it, maybe three three litres just in there. So that feeds down to the the pump. Davies Craig EWP80. Um, the lines that it's using probably a little bit too small for that size pump. Um, so I may end up having to get a speed controller to slow it down. But at the moment, never mind. We'll just make it work. Um, sort of has been working okay. It uses the heater lines to, to go right to the back. Um, so they're copper lines. One day they could be replaced with the aluminium. Um, so, reservoir down to the pump, through the pump to the back of the car which first comes through that bottom part I, the change that I made is now that's going through a joiner and goes into the heat exchanger into cool load which is plumbed in the back of here so this fitting's not ideal it would be nicer if it was actually a more smoother transition Hey, so be it. Pump is running. I can't really hear any air bubbles, so it's moving quite nicely. That's the big boy there. It's a Garrett GT 4088R. Um, so as you can see, the outlet keeps expanding into three-inch lines that go through the intercooler. That is a four-inch filter, rather large 4 inch filter, 4 inch piping all the way into the turbo, it's only a 3 inch inducer, somewhere around about that, um, comes out, there's two fittings on the water outlet there, one is the big boy that sits right in the middle that it came with, I've put another bleed nipple at the, at the top, in previous that's just been a bleed nipple on its own and you've had to open it up to bleed out the air but instead now it just goes straight into the the rear header tank um, so at the bottom is where it comes in from the heat exchanger there's a water temperature sensor down there so I can see that on the dash um, what temperature it's running um, is 1.1 bar um, pressure relief on it which basically just goes much under the car since it's pretty much only water running water and water wetter it's not really that slippery so if it does get on tires it's not that big a deal um, so so um, so air out of the intercooler squirrels around and then into the electronic throttle body so this is just the standard throttle body um, from the 2G RFE I think it's a 70 mil inlet um, so the piping three inch piping is plenty for that um, so header tank if I was to open this um, it would piss water out all over the place so this in normal operation is full to the brim um, if it does over pressure for whatever reason i.e I've got too much water in the system and it does get warm it will piss out a little bit uh, but in any case, then it goes all the way back to the front. Comes out that line there, which is this one here. Back and through into the heat exchanger at the front. <coughs> Radiator, which is that one there. Um, front radiator there, which is almost... <coughs> sorry almost exactly the same size as the main radiator except it's quite a bit thinner like one inch um, 
It's a decent size. Now with the radiator ducting, it actually allows for expansion of air to the entire face of that radiator. And I've opened up the main radiator a little bit, just that little piece there. So hopefully it should do pretty good. Uh, system is now 